Our beloved police procedural drama, Blue Bloods, has impressively navigated one of the most contentious subjects throughout its 13-season run. However, let's get real and take a closer look at how it's handled the issue. While Blue Bloods has indeed tackled the topic of police brutality on multiple occasions, dedicating entire episodes to the problem and even structuring season one around corrupt cops, it hasn't fully embraced this issue in a comprehensive manner. Yes, it acknowledges the problem, but it's often in a somewhat superficial way. The instances where Blue Bloods has confronted police brutality tend to be intentional and discreet. They present a specific case or issue that the Reagan family addresses and resolves to the best of their abilities. This approach is commendable, but the larger and more systemic problem often goes unaddressed, making it seem as if everything is fine. Enter Danny Reagan, a central character and the proud son of the Reagan family. Danny, in many ways, embodies the concept of everyday police brutality. Unlike some sensationalized depictions of police misconduct, Danny doesn't randomly shoot people on the streets or blatantly abuse his authority to get his way. Instead, he engages in subtler yet still troubling forms of abusive power. For instance, Danny isn't shy about using excessive force when interrogating suspects. He might subject a suspect to a swirly or hold a gun to their head while in custody if he believes it will further his investigation. What's alarming is that Danny's abusive behavior is rarely met with consequences. Even more concerning is that Danny often comes to the defense of his fellow officers when they've crossed the line, dismissing the idea of reporting misconduct within the force with statements like, the police should never rat out on their partner, ever. This phrase seems to be a Danny Reagan mantra, repeatedly used to justify questionable actions by his colleagues. While the show does depict instances of police officers getting arrested after committing misconduct, these occurrences are relatively rare, and they rarely apply to the main character, Danny. This leaves viewers with the perplexing message that one can engage in almost any misconduct as long as they have the coveted blue blood. It's high time Blue Bloods takes a more direct and thorough approach to address this pressing issue, rather than relegating it to occasional thematic episodes. The most effective way to do so would be to have Danny Reagan face serious consequences for his actions throughout the series. In the real world, defense lawyers would undoubtedly be eager to scrutinize cases involving an officer with a track record like Danny's. By addressing police brutality more directly and holding even beloved main characters accountable, Blue Bloods could contribute to a more nuanced and realistic portrayal of law enforcement, shedding light on the critical need for accountability within the police force.